Reminded you, risk capital you can afford to lose if you're playing this game. It's 10 o'clock. And this is E for eminiwizard.com and marketwizards.com. Typically, a three box move. It's time to make sure you get paid. <clears throat> Does not have to be because we see it all the time where it can go three, four, five, whatever. <clears throat> Still in the range that we had talked about pre market. First resistance zone should be this 95 <clears throat> to 98. And the support zone until broken, we've got the 81, 82 area trying to hold and push. Gap is filled at 97. <clears throat> One tick short, I believe. <laughs> and normally, you either play a reaction trade to a push on news, meaning coming into resistance, if you like the resistance zones, you take a shot. <clears throat> but normally, if there's news, we try to give it a few minutes to play out. And sometimes the best trade to do is buy the pullback and go with the squeeze. Nothing has changed my mind about today's Z pattern and the idea that the low may be in. Two day middle right here. And we said, let's keep an eye on this chart right here. And the blue line, we said it seems that we can get above green, red, blue, and then be very careful coming into 98 test. Great trade. And anybody that's got a portion of this, and I'm assuming that was very challenging if you're in this trade to do anything more than react and just try to go with the flow for a couple of minutes because I do not advocate being in that trade before it starts. All right, it's all about the 99 to 02 right now. And if that gets beat, the 05s are available. And this is why you want to be aware of news. There's a very big idea earlier today. <laughs> and we had the idea right that it was probably going to be whack-a-mole. Okay, 88 is going to remain as our aggressive support for now. That gets beat, anything goes. Seek nice call. <clears throat> Nine fifty eight. Watch for the zoom <laughs> above before ten AM. The fed up move. Great call. <laughs> Zeke has been around the markets for a long time. It makes me look like I'm in kindergarten. He's been in there so long. And and your instincts and intuition have a lot to do in this business. All right, let's take a look at that 30-minute chart again and show you what we'd seen there. You got to get above the blue line and push. And now you can see the the territory running into up here at the pivot point. So anybody that's been blessed with the <laughs> jumping in and taking a portion of this for the gap close and test that 98 to 99, must bring your stops up. And you can really see this Z pattern now playing out. And this is a power chart, 30-minute chart. Want to see this on a smaller denomination once you see that? And you understand support area. 
And then you want to go back to something like a five or a 10 or whatever. And probably the 10 to 15 will be the best look <clears throat> for your shorter durations. And our base chart is 15. And you can just see how it's too hard to tell with this, but the 30 you could see it a lot easier. And then now this whole area right in here at that 91, 92 area we said would be pivotal. Anybody that's got a push on this, capture. Make sure you are paid. And we said yesterday, O2 is resistance still broken, correct? So that assumption is intact until broken. And sometimes <clears throat> the very best thing I can suggest to you is the, the idea of the 456. Mr. Market, if I give you 10 points, will you give me four, five, or six? You can take that out to 20 points and 30 and 40 and 100 and whatever, but the proportion is still the same. You know, especially if you're not trading it and you're saying to yourself, well, maybe I can get myself four or five or six points in a contra because I wasn't in it for the news. And that's reactionary rather than being impulsive. So in a 10 point swing, 456 means can you get your four, your five or six points? And if you can, guess what? Your VIG for the day is done. So many ways to play this game. Usually we give news a little time to play out. You play hit and run if you're trading news and you give the benefit of the doubt to the thrust move that it's gonna take a few minutes to play out. You'll get some profit taking, but you usually will get yourself a few pushes, attempts at, is that the high or not? Here's a one minute chart. Previous, <clears throat> 95 was our demon, so that zone is obviously a key support area. Got to bust that. One minute chart. Deep breath. Keep your emotions in check. And 88 support for now. Of course, all the shorts are hoping for a repeat of yesterday. I'm not sure that's in the cards. <laughs> this is key and then the 88s. 87 and a half. Thank you, Zeke. Exactly right, great posts. So we can see this whack-a-mole idea that we had talked about. This is a psychological <laughs> idea. Obviously the bots are so accurate. We've got, what, a 10 point range <laughs> and definitely whack-a-mole. And again, I attribute a lot of this idea to these moving averages being so high above the rain line that it, it almost compels the market to come into that range. And then if we get above it and we get over and under, that's still going to be more neutral. And that's why trading is tricky. First of all, because you sleep at night, you're not there <coughs> for everything. And secondly, because we have to work around news. 
Anybody played for half gap and gap today? Congrats. And if you want to look at a deeper chart than the five, which I recommend, and you can go to something like a 10 minute chart and start to see bigger ideas, bigger ideas of support back here near our overnight low. And obviously running into the green and red and blue lines on the 10. So, so this tells me to be conservative both sides. Certainly we can explore the range today that we've been in in longs, probably because so many of them got trapped here yesterday, probably should be a little bit respectful of the bounces and how much to expect today on these bounces. Just my feeling because of this chart. This is the 10 minute. And normally we use the five, but I wanna know what these charts tell me also. And if we take this out, then that 10 minute chart and <clears throat> go right back to it. Here was your, <laughs> your angel. <clears throat> and if the squeeze is to continue, then this prior high area, that 95 to 96, the, the boys try to keep it above that to, for the squeeze. And then once we, if we penetrate back through it, then it's another story. But the squeeze continues if we cannot bust that area. This is a two day frame. So the best chart for us to be looking at Currently is this chart for perspective. 456, here's your four, here's your five, here's your six. Two-way day, I said early, and I still believe that. 